Oh, hey. You know, sometimes these hooves can get so long that they can create a nice bowl. You can fill it with cereal or whatever snack or whatever other snack you like to eat while you're shoeing a horse, but we decided we'll give you guys a little lesson on trimming long hooves today. These little nails will ruin your nippers. So all jokes aside, when, we, when students come to our school, we like to make things simple for them. And we refer to feet as concave, semi-concave, or flat. And what we are talking about with concavity is we're talking about the slope of the sole plane and what angle it's at as it goes down to the frog. The more, the more concave the foot usually means the more foot we can take off. The flatter the foot, the less we can take off from the bottom. So, you know, the serial demonstration was just to show you that this is a very concave foot right now, which means there's probably quite a bit to take off. Ready? Carving out dead soul right now.
ahead and give the horse a break. Send me a break. Okay, so on these barefoot horses, we're not putting a shoe on this horse. I'm just gonna come around here and just soften that edge up. Seems to help them prevent chipping. And chipping's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's a natural thing a horse will do. But if we're gonna be shoeing this horse and six weeks or so, I want a really nice foot to shoe without fighting these chips. But that's where we'll leave that. Um, like I said, we, kind of, we took a lot of the concavity out of this horse's foot. He still has a little bit left. Oh, you'd have a heck of a time eating cereal out of it now. The biggest reason we could pour that cereal in in the beginning was because his hooves were just long and they grew straight so this is actually a pretty healthy foot let's go ahead and work on the top side a little bit Okay, we got everything all cleaned up, got rid of the distortion, the growth. It's actually a really straightforward trim when they grow straight like that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.